Mourners gathered tonight to deliver the coffin of Cranberry singer Dolores O'Riordan to church ahead of her funeral on Tuesday The Irish singer was found dead aged 46 at a hotel on central London's Park Lane last Monday morning, sparking an outpouring of grief for the rock star A floral message from Irish band The Chorus read, without deepest sympathy. A photo of the front woman was placed on her coffin with dozens of fans, friends, and family paid tribute earlier. A private family burial will take place tomorrow morning in the small county Limerick Church at 11. 30 a.m. H.E.R. Coffin was this afternoon carried into St. Joseph's Church, close to the secondary school Dolores attended, before being taken to St. Albes Church in the town of Bolibrican. An inquest into her death has now been adjourned until April 3, as medical test results are yet to conclude. Coroner's officer Stephen Earle had said in court, this lady was staying at a hotel in central London when on Monday 15 January she was found unresponsive in her room The London Ambulance Service was contacted and verified her death at the scene. Subsequently the Met Police attended and they determined the death to be non-suspicious He continued, a post-mortem has now been carried out and the court is awaiting results of various tests that have been commissioned Following her death, her boyfriend and DARK bandmate Ole Koretsky said the love of my life is gone He said in a statement, my friend, partner, and the love of my life is gone. My heart is broken and it is beyond repair Dolores is beautiful. H.E.R. art is beautiful. H.E.R. family is beautiful. T.H.E. energy she continues to radiate is undeniable. I am lost. I miss her so much. I will continue to stumble around this planet for some time, knowing well there is no real place for me here now. Her cranberries bandmates, Noel Hogan. Virgil Lawler and Mike Hogan said they were devastated by the news, adding the world has lost a true artist A book of condolences was opened at Limerick City and County Council. Eden Nye Bryan, her former head teacher, said, We are very proud of her as a past pupil and also because she was a Limerick woman who never forgot she was a Limerick woman We pay for your stories do you have a story for the Sun Online News team? Email us at tips at the sun.